This is the house where Ethan Belcher spent his final moments. Police say that his parents beat him to death. Loved ones say that the couple abused him and his three-year-old brother constantly. His aunt tried to get him out of this house. We want to know what it takes to prevent future tragedies like the one that happened under this roof. Exposed plywood walls, boards over some windows, and no curtains covering others. One look at this house on Spring Garden, and it is hard to believe anyone lived here. But the bikes and toys in the front yard show children did. It's also home to the unthinkable, a suspected case of child abuse which led to the death of a five-year-old boy. It's heartbreaking. We want every child to have kind of a happy, healthy childhood. Melanie Richards is the director of Kids Talk Children's Advocacy Center. It's one organization people can turn to for help with abused children. In order to report something, you only have to have a suspicion. Uh, well, we know when we make a report, it's really helpful if you do not remain anonymous. Uh, there are strict laws about what information can be released, about who's making a report. Detroit police say over the weekend, Ethan Belcher's mom and stepfather beat him to death and hurt his three-year-old brother. Fox 2 spoke to his aunt Wednesday. This baby suffered some very severe abuse through his life. And I tried to report it last year. I have the, I had pictures. I took them to the hospital myself. Ashley Belcher says she tried to get Ethan out of his parents' custody but was denied. She filed a police report with Lincoln Park Police in 2021. In a statement, the Lincoln Park Police Chief tells Fox 2, quote, everyone was saddened to hear about Ethan and our thoughts and prayers go out to the family. We did have an incident in 2021 where Ethan suffered some minor injuries and CPS had placed the children. The chief went on to say an investigation was conducted and a warrant request was sent to the Wayne County Prosecutor's Office for review. Unfortunately, the warrant was denied. But a spokeswoman for the Wayne County Prosecutor's Office says the warrant wasn't denied. It was sent back for further investigation and never returned. More than a year later, Ethan Belcher's death will traumatize his relatives, including his brother. We know that child abuse crosses all genders, races, socioeconomic status. It's not kind of somebody else's problem or some neighborhood's problem. It is our problem. And all of us need to work together to stand up for children. Richards says 5,400 child abuse cases are reported and verified in Wayne County every year. Now that includes Ethan's family which will work with trauma teams on coping and trying to break the cycle. Brandon Hudson, Fox 2 News.